Probably something along those lines. Well, at least it didn't iron out my issue. I literally just had a talk with them about this. So I mean, recording shouldn't have any issue on the bit rate. Alright, I'm I'm waiting for it to get to fifteen percent and then I'll actually officially start. Knowing me though, it's just gonna spike right back up. If I gotta lower my bit rate, I have to lower my bit rate again. Uh, I just hate that they told me this was fixed. Uh. So we got like twenty nine, twenty three, thirty six. I don't know if I'm gonna be sitting here. I'm not going to lower the audio bit rate. I can't change it while I'm streaming. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to see what I can. Can't be the only one dealing with this. There's nothing else on my network. Ah! This is frustrating. But that's okay. Because sometimes, the greatest thing about a stream is watching someone try to figure out what's wrong with their stream. Do I have any other applications that could be using the internet? I got Discord. Let's kick out Discord. I got Uplay. Let's kick out Uplay. I got Antivirus. Let's stop Antivirus. I mean, if I gotta sit here and reboot Steam offline to really fix this, that might be what I have to do. But, maybe not. 21% of my frames are gone. And I'm not... This is why I record things and then upload them afterwards. If it gets to under five, I'll start. But we just jumped to. I just want to see progress. That's all. That's all I want. I just want progress. And I'm watching it, and it's not pleasing me. Of course it worked when I contacted the ISP. There we go. It's under five, and I made a promise. So I'm just going to record it anyways, and upload it later. Miraculous internet. Hello. Stoic is here, and happy Valentine's Day to every single one of y'all out there today. The wine's gone bad. Anyhow, but we're not here to just talk about wine tasting. We are here to investigate a new game and to get into a new story. This is known as Civilization VI. We are going to be playing The Gathering Storm, and if you didn't know, we are going to play Eleanor of Aquitaine as the British. Because everyone else is like, ooh, let's run for the Maoris, you know? Nobody is going to give Eleanor any love. And she's all about the court of love. We're going to be playing on Prince, because it's been a while. Standard, 
continents. Yeah, we can do continents. Oh, what are the other maps? True start, location, Europe, any of that. Sex start. Nah, we're just going to stick to continents. We'll play on a standard map. And disaster intensity will be two, because that's what they set it to do. So, let me be quiet for a moment and let us hear the beginnings. Maybe, if we're lucky. Duchess of Aquitaine, regent of two lands, patron of troubadours and judge of the court of love. Ascend your throne again. Inspire the hearts of your subjects that they will cheer you and flock to your banners. For all who know your reign know your compassion. That was very sweet. So Eleanor gets the uh, court of love, which great works cause minus one loyalty per turn in all foreign cities with the nine tiles. A city that leaves another sieve due to loss of loyalty is currently receiving the most penalty. Eleanor skips a free city step to join the civilization. And then Workshop of the World, we get extra junk around the world like we already did. So, Gathering Storm or Congress is important. We will figure all this stuff out as we play. Isn't that terrible? I'm just looking to get into the action. So, I'm not going to lie. I kind of don't want to settle there, because I would like to be near the ocean. So let's see what happens if I go this way. That's a... Never again can I gaze upon the beauty spots of the earth and enjoy them as being the finest thing I have ever seen. Crater Lake is above them all. Crater Lake is above all of them, and it's beautiful. We just gained a bonus to astrology. I don't really want to settle here. I don't want to settle on that marsh either. And that might be a river, but I could be wrong. That's a river, so at least I could go here, and then I'm going to miss those resources. You take some, you lose some. See, I suppose we can settle right here. Because the longer we wait the worse off we are. So we're, let's just do astrology, because we had already gotten that. And let's build a scout, so we can keep exploring. I'm going to set them to auto-explore. Just like that. And we're going to keep on... Oh, I have it set automatically to end turn. I think. Nope. That's good. I don't want to set it to just auto end turn. So we go to combat with these guys. And go on to our next turn. We are on turn 6 of 600, or 500, so we are actually making some progress because I I like to get too advanced in this game. I like to bite off more than I can chew, I guess, because I love hitting that next turn button. So there's a new resource. There's silver. And it used to not have that logo in silver. But let's let's take out that just plan on taking out that scout. He ran further away. Set this scout to auto explore, get me to the coast, and then you are going to build a monument. Alright, I'm not going to make that same mistake again on my desk. So we're going to go to Old Faithful. Oh, come on. 
Why? No. Why? You're still not moving. Man. I'm still not moving. Ain't that just great? It's an honor to meet. You try to make one good thing. What if I do display? Will you see him then? Sort of. You try to do one good thing. Alright, so... That's a shame that we missed out on a couple seconds of gameplay. <laughs> but these things happen. I have no idea where that scout went. Oh, he's down here now. Well, mine is going this way. There's a village. I like how the map now has these little... Um, little markers on them. I really like that. As for you, I suppose, let's just go around this mountain. And we'll go from there. And from you, we will go here. And you earned experience. That's all we got. That's fine. So, then we'll, let's use that. Seem to be more hills than woods and rainforest. So we'll use that. That'll be our next turn. I don't want to beat up their... Oh, that's a... Yeah, it's an enemy scout. We'll do that. We'll beat that scout up. Moving on, moving on. You still gotta loop around and take out those guys. I like how when you, you play London as, um... When you play London as Aquitaine, it's... It's more pink, because when it's just your or when it's just Victoria, it's like red, kind of like this pinky color. It's gonna do research, but let's actually look at what we want to do. So, I'd like to get the Great Library. So I think let's try to do that. That's for you. Let's get you into position, going this way. So we can heal up before we go and take out that barbarian village. Why don't we fortify you too? Maybe I'm playing too... Too... Basic. Code of Law, we are going to take God King, and then we are going to take Discipline to help us with those other Vikings. We're going to take God King so we can maybe get our religion taken care of, so you don't have to worry about it. And let's take craftsmanship. Okay, so he works that time. He's still a little, little blobby, but he works. Gifts of rune stones. We'll go ahead and be the nice people. I like being the nice people when I play. And if I'm gonna sit this low, I need to readjust my camera. Ah. Let's hit the right buttons. There's no WASD. You're not playing Foundation right now. So you healed. And you guys are good to go. Ooh, Stonehenge. I could get religion started. And maybe get a religious victory or something. Alright, so we finally have the coast, which means one of our settlements needs to be over here. But we're all the way over here. That's not a bad thing. 24 turns for Stonehenge. But I have no place to build Stonehenge. What do you need? It needs to be adjacent to stone and on flat land. So if I take this... This one. I could build Stonehenge on there. How much is it? 50 gold. How much do I have? 120. Wow, they give you gold like it's nothing. So now I can build Stonehenge right here. Let's do that. 
We're only playing on four, so we should be able to build that. And instead of making a wide empire, we'll just make a really tall one and just get a bunch of natural one or not natural wonders, but a lot of great wonders. Oh, there's a barbarian right there. So why don't I come here and wait for him? So maybe he'll cross. I can beat him up. Oh, they're going to wait. But if I get him, they get a river defense. Oh, but it, it, oh, it equals out. Because I get plus five to barbarians. That's cool. That's cool, cool, cool. You're going to keep doing that. We are madmen. We're on turn 20. It's only been like 10 minutes. All right, it's 2v1, and we got a promotion. So we'll take the promotion to get... Oof. Ugh. So we'll take the promotion. I think there's one against... Yeah, plus extra defense. So we'll heal him up, and then we'll take out this camp. I think that's what our strategy should be. There we go. And you see a scout? Go beat him up. The power of the stick. It was a sticky combat situation, but we got it. Rumor has it that Norway is worshiping a pantheon. God of Harvest. That's not the one I want. I always take fertility rights, because having that growth is just amazing. 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 Their scout is just scouting. Let's look at these, because I didn't actually look at them. Okay, so that's neat. So as we continue to industrialize, we can actually change the world. All right, you get ready. You healed up. You got back to exploring. They're on the coast, and we're not on the coast of England, so there's a we got a problem. We'll take our major victory. What I'll say about civilization is I I really enjoyed. Oh, yeah. We'll take that for right now. I really enjoyed Civ 5. I played a couple hundred hours of it. Some offline, some online. And Civ 6, in the beginning, was not as good as Civ 5 fully expanded. But I, see, I think that's kind of the rhythm of all the Civilization games. Let's take that one. So we're about to do that. So... For example, I have Civ 6 on the Switch, and it's only the main game with up to Nubia. So everything before Rise and Fall. It's not bad, it's just compared to everything I've got here, it's why would you play it? I'll say playing Civ on the road on the Switch is awesome. There we go. We took out that barbarian camp. And we're faster at building this. So you know what you're doing. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Wham! That's right. Scouts know what it's all about. Oh. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. I like that. That's how I feel about most of my writing, is I start, and then I erase everything, and I start over. And then I erase everything, and then I start over a third time. Wait, 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 wait. Why did I just pick that? Why don't we actually look at what we have? Yeah, I mean, when, 
Let's get to bronze working. I'm not sitting here trying to be the first Civ to get to the next age. But, at the same time, I'd like to get that great library built. Well, it's still the early game. See, and you're right here. Let's stop resting to beat you up. Ooh. That was a bad idea. The River Tees has flooded. Oh, man. There we go. That's right, you don't hurt the dog. Never hurt the dog. So, we just got our first river flood in this river right here. It says damage was minimal, but fertility has risen. Alright, there's another scout that just formed, so we'll run away. Because I'm not ready to lose my... My dude just yet. This is the town of Akkad. It is a military-based city-state. Oh, here's our first natural disaster. Ain't that neat? We've got a major drought. Locusts whir and dust stirs in the hot wind. Land is parched by drought. Ain't that something? You have one quest? Train an archer. Okay. Oh, he's following me. We have a drought down here. You can see it even through the fog of war. It's kind of cloudy. So that's bad. But none of my tiles have been affected. and I don't want to change any of my stuff. So let's cross over here. Get a major victory. Eh, let's do it. You're not kill him, but you can get started. Poking stuff. Hello, Iron Thunder. Thank you for joining us today. We are taking a break from Foundation because of Civilization VI. Rai or Gathering Storm has launched, which will probably be the last expansion for Civ 6. Well, last major content. Because that's what they did with 5. They had two expansions. They had like Brave New World, and then they had the other one. <laughs> that's miserable. I can't remember the name of it. Logical advice. When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Oh, it's my turn again. So we are six. They're not running amok that close to my home. Mean Harold. Is that Harold? Yeah. Mean old Harold. Thought we were homeboys. Not all of us can have your good starting position. All right, let's get you home so we can get you healed. Uh oh. It's wrong button. If it's still here... Do they have new ones? I would like to do fertility rights, because that helps us get more faster. More peoples. The more peoples we have, the more land we can use. Alright, here we go. Stonehenge. Oh, it's actually, like, fully complete Stonehenge. I wonder if it falls apart over time. So I think you have to go to the Stonehenge to found the religion, which we do. We started the first religion. 
We'll deal with that in just a second. But let's get a granary started so I don't lose any more. We're going to take the lion. We're going to call it Stoicism. Because why not? And right now we can... Can we get any of the... We can't get any buildings yet. So we want to... Shrines and temples provide culture. We will do that one. Here we go, now I can make them. So, provide food equal to their intrinsic faith. So we, if we get one with high faith, we also get one with high um, food without needing it. So we can get like a meeting house that will give us faith and production, or we can do a watt, which will get us faith and science. We're going to go ahead and do a meeting house so we can get that extra production. Why not Catholicism? Because I like the lion. <laughs> Simon Peter founded Stoicism, the world's first religion. The sun broke through the clouds and a sweet scent filled the air. That's awesome. And I think I can, no, I can't change it. Yet, I think when I reform it, I can shout at you in about a thousand years. Oh, Hojo. I would love to show you my city. We'll get to that. So we're still starving, but hopefully once we build, you're going to get some food. That's fine, Iron Thunder. I'm here for probably another hour. Your delegation is most welcome. My city's about to starve. Which I don't know if I lose a pop. I lost a pop. Okay. We're in a really weird area right now. Where it seems as though, because now I'm about to upgrade to four pop again. It's just having difficulty sustaining that pop, I guess. I have 43 hours in Civ 6. As opposed to Civ 5, where I've got a couple hundred. And then Civ 4, I never played. Just because it wasn't... I wasn't really in a strategy at that point. When Civ 4 had come out. But all in all, they're just going to sling me to death. So we might have to fall back because they're just going to keep slinging me to death. And you just keep exploring, man. You let them do their thing. There's a warrior from Akkad. So that's pretty neat. The ancient era ends in 10 turns, and we are in, we're not getting a dark age, but we're at least, we might be able to still get a golden age if we try. Let's go over here, so maybe I can heal up. We have our granary, so we can finally expand out. There's a great bath, what do you need? Must be built on a floodplain. Is this a floodplain? It's just a regular plain. That's woods, plains. Do I have any floodplains? near me that I could I could take. Doesn't look like it. So no great bath for me, which must be one of the new one of the new ones. So I could get a holy site. And I could peg it. I could peg it right next to Stonehenge to get a bonus. Can't put it in the swamp it looks like. I'd I'd like to, but I can't. We'll stick it there. That way we can get a tem temple built and we can get that extra production. Man, I am just causing a ruckus. A ruckus at my desk, I say. So. That's Mahino Daro. Stop. 
still not happy that I'm losing frames. Hmm, so what I'm going to do is can I take him out? Mm hmm, yes. Looks like I can. There we are. We keep searching for what we can do. They want, they have a quest. What do they want? They want one great merchant. We'll see what we can do, buddy. So now let's get to buttress. <laughs> let's get to really should get to irrigation. It looks like that just stops there. So why don't we work on, hmm, it's a difficult choice. Obviously part of me is like, man, just get up here and rush cartography. Let's just rush cartography. Welcome back. We now have the opportunity to oppose a governor to our civilization. We now get a governor. We want to get I'm not sure what kind of victory you want yet. I mean I I took I was the first one to get the wonderful religion of Stoicism, so I might go religious. What's the point the cardinal? Over here to London. And then we'll get a new civic, so we will go ahead and do that. And let's put you back to exploring. Then weave a web of the mystic measure from the depths of the sky and the ends of the earth. Come, swift spirits of might and of pleasure. Fill the dance and the music of me. I have no idea what that is. It's like a weird mud pit. Where is that even from? Let's see. It is in the center of Baku. It's in Ab Azerbaijan, if I can say that right. Okay, let's take a look at it. Well, that's not the weird mud pits. Mud volcanoes, there you go. That's kind of cool. I learn something every day. I've never had the experience of going to Azerbaijan. I'm not opposed to it. See, now we're on good terms again. We might still be able to get a golden era. Have I seen your place yet? No. Did he do it? Did you take my delegation? Welcome by a feast in the longhouse. Awesome. I always forget to do stuff like that. So now that we're on turn 50, things kind of start slowing down. The first 50 turns are really fast when you're trying to get through it. So, four turns to that holy site. I just want to buy a worker if I can. So I'm going to buy a worker so I can at least get some of these tiles, you know, working. It comes in handy. So now we can build a farm. What do you want over there? A mine? Okay. So build a farm so that way we'll start getting some extra food, which will help our town grow. So that way we don't all die. Come here, build that farm. There you go. Perfect. 
Good job, workers. I'm very proud of you. Masamusa! My dude! Mansa Musa, please come to my town. Um, how do I buy tiles? Or how do you get more tiles? There's multiple ways to get tiles. One way is, um, let me show you. It says right, um, if I click on it and then I click purchase a tile, one thing you can do is buy a tile, for example, like 60 gold or something. And the other way is over time, they naturally expand. So next turn, this tile is going to be part of my city. And tiles are, you can only go so far out with one city. So that's kind of one reason to expand if you want more territory and get access to more things. But another way would be to buy all the tiles as far out as you can. And it's kind of two different play styles. One of them is called wide, where you get a lot of smaller towns. And the other one is called tall, where you get a lot of, or you have a very small amount of very developed cities. And I'm thinking I'm going to have more of a tall build in this one, mainly because it's been such a long time. I'm going to try to actually get as much as I can out of London and maybe another one or two cities, like, get over here to the coast. All right, so now my workers are gone, but we got all that production, we got all that food, which will help us out in the future, which is great. I learned that Mansa Musa, yes! Yes! Mansa Musa just makes me so happy. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. I can't build a meeting house yet? Oh, I need a temple. Or I need a, I need a temple. Hmm. Is a shrine a temple? We're going to find out. Anyhow, Mansa Musa is from the, from the region of Mali in Africa. And he is said So we have now entered the classical era. No, he actually didn't. Mansa Musa actually didn't save me. But I'm talking historically, Mansa Musa was considered the richest person of all time. And he learned about the ways of Islam, and he went to Mecca, and he brought such a large caravan with him that he actually began destabilizing the economies around him, as he took so many caravans of people and just building towns and schools and mosques on along his way. Mansa Musa is one of those cool guys that really doesn't get the repu or really doesn't get the sh the light that he needs. But all right, you guys, so. This is kind of a twofold kind of thing. We are in a normal age. Japan got a golden age, and everybody else got a normal age. We don't know about these guys yet. So we get one loyalty, and we can make a dedication, which is a way for us to get a greater score in the next one. So what I'd like to do is... I'd like to do... Specialty District. No. Eurekas. So what that means is that the more Eurekas I can get in science, the better my score will be, because right now I need to get 33 points to be back into the average age. But anyhow, so... This is going to be strange for people watching after the fact, but my internet is acting up as it's about to hiccup again as I'm looking at my, at my little... My little gauge. So I'm actually going to call this as the first episode of Civilization VI. I'm going to launch this back up in just a minute, and I'm going to start episode two. So it's a good cutting edge. We just went out of the ancient era, and now we're in the classical. So we got a lot of work to get ahead of ourselves. We're in turn 61 out of 500. It's 1600 BC, and Eleanor of Aquitaine, where are we on the score? We are dead last here. We are second in culture. We are last in domination, we are second in religion, and we are first in diplomacy. Will we become diplomatic? Who knows? So my friends, my name is Stoic. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me, and for those watching live, just give me about five minutes, and I will come back. 
So I will see y'all in the next one.